G'day guys, welcome back. I am going to show you what the current challenge is for the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group. That's it there. So turquoise, chocolate brown, light orange, medium orange, and then like a reddish color. So you can add white as well if you want to. So I thought, well, there's no point me setting a challenge if I'm not willing to do the challenge myself. So I'm gonna have a go at it and see what happens. Right, so I'm gonna do my two flip cup pour because this is a 30 centimeter by 40 centimeter canvas, 12 by 16 inch. Going with the same pouring medium as I have done recently, love, love, love it. 70% glue, 30% water. And I've just mixed up 700 grams of glue all 300 grams of water in my jug here, my bottle. Uh, you could do seven ounces, three ounces, 700 mils, 300 mils, whatever you want to do, as long as it's those ratios. What's that? Get off. Okay, so then I've mixed my pouring medium 50-50 to paint. So 50 grams pouring medium, 50 grams of paint, that's 100 grams in each. One, two, three, four, five, six cups, 600 grams for this size canvas. And for silicone, I'm using the treadmill silicone, 100%. You can use um, coconut milk hair serum if you want to. I personally find that the cells aren't as nice and round shaped. They're kind of more of a wobbly shape. It's a much thicker oil. So I'm just going to put two drops in each except for the white. And I have found that the treadmill silicone is the bomb, works the best. You do have to stir it in well, otherwise you get big blobs of it, even though it's quite thin. And less is more with silicone, especially the coconut milk hair serum, if you're using that, it's really strong. Um, I would only use half the amount of that as I'm using to this. Because it's so thick, if you put in two drops of that, it's probably equivalent to five drops of this because it's such a big drop. Do you know what I mean? It's like a really thick drop. So just be aware of that. If you're using the coconut milk hair serum, just really reduce it. One drop per color is ample. But when I started, I, I was using that. Um, I just found that I get a better cell shape from the silicone oil. And I buy it on eBay. I shop online, just easy. Everything I buy is online, pretty much. Right, so I'm going to do the flip cup with this, and then I'm probably going to do some balloon dipping. Right, so I'm just going to do two layers. Oh, the other thing I'm showing you, the turquoise is opaque. The shrimp is opaque. It's made on a white base, which is opaque, and then the white is opaque. The other colours are semi-transparent, so I've alternated them just to see if that'll help me get a nice ring around my cells. So here we go. Orange in first, so that I can try and separate my opaques from my semis. And I do like the orange against the turquoise. Hoping I'm not gonna get like a purpley color because, you know, red and blue make purple and that's a shade of red and blue so hoping it'll be all right we will see in goes the brown I didn't really want I wanted the um, salmon color against the turquoise but I've done those two before uh, two opaques together and I don't really get a very good sell from those um, so anyway let's just try it this way and see what happens I've got the light peachy color against the dark chocolate brown so that hopefully that will be okay and then we'll go from the dark the light peach to this darker ready orange color and hopefully that will be okay I'm a bit worried about putting white on top of it but it's not red red as such so hopefully it won't go too pink it's more of an orange red so I'm hoping it'll be all right and it needs to go next to this orange again so 
I was kind of limited in where I could put them because I wanted to put the opaques next to the semi-opaques or semi-transparent. Same thing, whether you're talking transparent or semi-transparent or opaque. I think it does make a difference in the way your cells form. The opaque colours, not so much in the global because they're not as highly pigmented as, say, Liquitex Basics, but the more opaque colours are heavier and they tend to sink to the bottom. And then the semi-transparent or transparent paint pops up around it and you get that beautiful ring around your cell. So you might have a semi-opaque colour as the ring around an opaque coloured cell. Okay, back to the chocolate. Hopefully the chocolate won't get too lost in all these other colours. I cut down on my orange just a touch and I increased the pale salmon -y colour just a touch because I really like that pretty colour. And I know for a fact that orange takes over. Oops, just wiping down my bench here as I go. Try and stay nice and tidy. All right, here we go. Reminds me of a prawn cocktail. <laughs> Here's the seafood sauce. And the blue, well that's the ocean. I'm just thinking of a prawn cocktail at the moment. Go figure. So, let's see how this goes. I've got a balloon left over from when I did my balloon dips the other day. So, I've still got that one. Hasn't deflated yet. Probably should have put white between these two. Never mind. The white will go on top. I love this colour, the warm red. I'm hoping that it really makes a pop, a statement. The only paint that I've thinned out today a little bit is my white. And I did put a little bit of extra water in this warm red. The others were pretty much 50-50. Uh, this one, I had to add more paint because it's a bit thin. So. As I've said before, even though I say 50-50, you have to go by uh, the brand of paint you're using and also the consistency of the paint because even in the global paint that I'm using, the paint's different. It's not all the same consistency. This aqua is really quite thin and the warm red is really quite thick. So you just have to add water or add paint to make them all the same consistency and to look for that mound on a mound. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, you go there, you go there. I have got a folded up puppy piddle pad in the center because this doesn't have anything in the middle and I don't want it sinking, the paint sinking in the middle. Okay. Give that a minute and I'll show you my colours. Actually, you know what that does look like? Um, in Australia, we've got the coloured sands off the coast. Oh, where is it? Queensland. Gee, I'm forgetting my geography. We have coloured sands, it's called, and the side of the rock. You can see all these different layers. That's what it looks like. Very pretty. Okay, so we have white. And then for the light orange, we have shrimp. And then orange, warm red, peacock is my turquoise. It's a light turquoise. And then for the chocolate brown, burnt umber. So let's hope those colours make a pretty pour. All right, I think it's released. Looks as if I might be losing some of my orange. It's not all releasing yet. 
that one has started this one hasn't maybe I didn't wipe the bottom properly of the cup all right this one seems to have dropped down I can see where the paint's starting so let's do this one um, flip straight down all my turquoise. I don't want to lose all my turquoise. Oh, there's a lot of white in that one. How different are they? Now, where are you, turquoise? Oh, this one's going quite muddy. Look at that corner there. Ew. I don't think I'll use any more of you. Let's see what you've got. Come on, out you come, don't be shy. Mud. I don't know why that cup's so different to this cup. They're laid exactly the same. Alright, there we go. So uh, I'm going to do the same as I did with the others. I'm not going to torch just yet. I'm going to tilt to cover the canvas halfway and then I'll torch and bring up the cells. It's just easier, you know. You, you don't have the risk of stretching your cells. So if you're having trouble with stretching your cells, do it this way. Don't torch yet. I'm going to catch some paint though. Let's use my trusty little corner catcher, a little bit of cardboard that I've cut up. We'll go down a bit and into that corner. I don't want to lose too much of the paint. Come back. There's something in there. What's that? Where's my tweezers? Always have a pair of tweezers handy with the little fine points on them so that you can pick things out. Ugh, a little bit of dried paint. It's probably a little crusty bit from the side, around the side of the paint jar. I don't think it's done too much damage though. Uh, now let's do this side. I actually don't mind if, if I leave that bit of turquoise. I quite like that. So. Might not even use that corner catcher. Try and keep some of that turquoise. If I can. And let's just run that over. over and I'll turn it around and torch. That's a pretty turquoise cells aren't they? Actually I'll do my sides in a minute. I'll torch first and then while I'm waiting for the cells to come up I'll fix my sides. Not too much torching to start with. Go over once and then I'll wait. Put my cups in the bin while I'm waiting. They're dripping on my table. I've got a big sheet of plastic covering my table. It's on a big roll. It's like a big plastic tablecloth that you can buy from the hardware store. Look at Caterpillar. Must have got a bit close there. It's the only place where I've got cells popping up, not here, so I've obviously gone too close there. Let's go again. Try and keep it moving in a circle so it doesn't uh, hit one spot too much and overheat it. I purposely made my mix a touch thicker this time. I didn't water any of the paints down except for those that I told you about. The 
the white, which I always have to pop a little bit of extra water in. And that red. The others are left as is. Because I just, the last pour I did when I torched, or actually before I torched, the cells were popping up on their own and they were quite big. I'm thinking, hey, I don't want you guys to pop up yet. Just wait your turn. But they didn't want to listen. I'm just popping some turquoise on the corner here. I hope I get more turquoise up because that's really peachy. <laughs> peachy. Peachy keen. So I'm hoping I'm going to get some more turquoise. Where are all my cells? Come on, cells. Up you come. Don't be shy. I did my, as I said, I made my mix a little bit thicker. So it's taking more heat to transfer down through the thick paint to then bring the silicone oil to the surface because oil obviously wants to rise to the surface. Oil and water, they don't like to mix. The oil wants to come to the surface. So it just takes a while for the heat to, to come down through the paint and then for the oil to come make its way up to the surface. But don't rush it, it will happen. some aqua cells coming through there and then we've got some more here some turquoise so that's good I was worried there for a sec it just looked orange didn't it okay well I can already see where I'm going to balloon dip which is fantastic you know if there's something that you don't like or you've you know got a caterpillar or you've got a big blob just balloon dip it and it's good. All right, let me hang on to my little push pins. And off we go. Walking, walking. I want to get to the sides. And the other side, I want to do my sides before I go over the edge. No, I don't really want to lose all that turquoise though. Come back while I have a think about you. Um, I guess I'm going to lose it over the sides. Anyway, I wish I had some more turquoise. Looks like there's something in there as well. Oh my goodness. I should just keep my tweezers out, shouldn't I? Sometimes you can't tell it's, it's in there until you start moving your paint around. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that thing. I've got a dinosaur in there. Well, that's going to be a balloon dip. Is that? Gee, didn't even notice that going into my paint. Oh, well. All right, let's, um, I need to bring the weight back up there and try and straighten that line out. Um, I guess I might have to go over that corner just because it's very liney and the rest of it's very plain backgroundy. so. Take a little bit off the side there as well. Just open up my cells a little bit more. A little bit over there. Leave a tiny bit on the corner, I think. Did I just drip? Oh, I dripped all over my puppy petal pad underneath. It's still looking very peachy, isn't it? I've lost my turquoise. Oh dear. The one I did before this, my first little practice, I'll show it to you. Um, it's got so much more turquoise in it and it had a darker red and because of the red and turquoise it made purple. So I changed my colours around, added in the warm red, took out the like a burgundy red. Um, and it's totally changed the whole look of the, the pour. Totally. 
I'm not sure whether I've put the video up or not, but I'll show it to you. I'm just going to co cover that little corner there. I don't know if the other side's done. I can't see. I'll have to go around. I think it's done. Okay. Um, yeah, the pitch, the pitch took over. All right, I'll show you the other one. It's under here. Oh. See, I used the darker red. So I've got a lot of purple in it, but the turquoise, you can see it more. Um, and then this one is very peachy. But I haven't dipped yet, so let's dip. Let's see if I can get a few little cells in this corner here. I haven't got more of the turquoise over here. There's a bit there. I'm going to have to try and keep those cells. I'm not going to dip into the turquoise there. I need to keep those. And these are just gorgeous. I'll keep those. So I've just got my balloon that I've used previously. And it's really good if you can wait, like even overnight, wait for your paint to sort of starting to set up and dry a bit and then dip. Then you won't get that like that with a puddle of paint but for the sake of this I'm going to just do it now I don't like this corner here so I'll dip there first hey dip roll I like to roll and then lift and straight out actually I haven't got my paper towel ready I better go and get a piece of paper towel otherwise I'm gonna be making a huge mess Wipe my balloon off. Oh, where's my paper towel here? Here it is. Pop that there. And just fold it in half so it's double thickness. That uh, little balloon dip has brought out some aqua. So happy about that. Yeah, well maybe that's the way I can bring my aqua out, hey? obviously you're gonna it's, it's under there and it's just not showing as much as I would have liked it to right where will I go now um, where don't I like as I said I'm not going to touch this bit and I'm not going to touch that bit I like that I might just might go in here actually through here All right Hold on to my fingers of my glove. Down, around, and up gently. Ooh, turquoise. Hi, turquoise. Thanks for showing up. Welcome to the party. I'm happy about that. Happy about the turquoise coming through. So isn't this a lovely way to do a pour nicely, hey? Flip your cup over, cover half your surface, then torch. Then you only have to tilt a little bit so you're not running the risk of uh, overstretching your cells. And then you can bring a little bit of interest in and a little bit more colour by balloon dipping. You can cover up all your little mistakes. And then you've got pretty much perfect painting. So have a go. Now this little canvas, it doesn't need a lot of dipping. It really doesn't. Don't go overboard. The whole thing is to see your cells, see your background with a few little dips here and there. So I'm going to do another one sort of here in the middle. That way they're kind of there and there. And then I might have to just do another one mm, there, a little one over there maybe, a little... We'll see, but I'll do this one here first. Pull up really slowly. There we go. Here's a pretty one too. Not as much turquoise in that one. The red, more red. 
uh, the petals of the flower are the remnants of the cells that were around here. So when the balloon touches a cell, it kind of sticks to it and elongates it and makes that little flower pattern. So those petals are actually cells. That's why the petals have got colours around the, the end of them, around the base. Over here, where there's no petal as such, there was no cell there. I didn't pick up a cell. So if you do want this petal look, make sure that you're balloon dipping into cells, a lot of cells, that way you get that defined petal look. I like a bit of both. I like the blurring and the defined petals, so I like both. Um, now, I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to do another one over here. And then that may be it. We'll see. Maybe another one just here. That's. I'll have a look. Don't want to overdo it. And I do like odd numbers. I don't like even numbers. So this is going to be number four, which means I'm going to have to go again, aren't I? Do five. Round. And up. Gently. Straight off. Try not to drip paint back onto your surface. I like to wipe my balloon off with the damp cloth as well because I don't want to put muddied paint back onto my surface. And I've got a plenty of paint there so I don't need any more paint on the surface. So wipe off the excess. Alright. Um, I'm kind of thinking it needs something more over here. I really didn't want to touch those but maybe I can just do a little one here and then just a tiny little one there. Oh, then I'm going to have six. Oh well. So I'm going to do a little one. Just press down very lightly just to do a little guy there. The harder you press down, obviously, the more surface you're going to cover and the bigger your flower is going to be. Okay, so one more just here, incorporating this blobby bit here. And just a little one. Oh, here's a pretty one. All right, I want to do one more. <laughs> it's just, it's so busy over here. It's really busy. Um, just in here. Okay, and that's it. Last. It's just so busy over there. I don't want to touch these cells though, so I'm going to kind of just go here, I think. Just a little one. There we go. Made it or broke it? Make or break? Hey, I think it's alright. Can't take it away now. Alright, so I've made a huge mess. Let's fold this up. Throw that away. Um, yeah, it's more of a tropical kind of a look. That peach, shrimp colour, really took over. Um, I guess it's that and also the orange. I had the orange next to the white, didn't I? I think I had orange and white and the red kind of next to each other, so... Two orange or well, two reddish orangish colours and white are going to make more orange. So I guess that's why I've got a high content of orange looking in here. But it's still pretty. Um, let me put you back to this one. Which one do you prefer? That one or that one? I don't really like the purple in this one, so I'm going to go with that one. I prefer that one. Um, I still lost my brown. This one is a little bit of brown in it as well, but not much. Lost the brown in this one too. I don't know where it's gone. I mean, there's a bit there. There's a bit through there. A little bit up here, but basically the brown and the turquoise got pretty lost. If I hadn't have done these balloon dips, you'd hardly see any turquoise at all. But it has come through, which is nice. And it's a little pop, isn't it? A little pop of colour. Right. Quite happy with that actually. Let me take you in for a close up. So this is my challenge paw. 
zoom that in and then I'll take you down. I don't think you get a, a really correct colour way up there on the tripod. I think you get a truer colour down here. There. So that looks much truer to me. It's much more bright. Okay. So, I quite like that bit of turquoise on the bottom with the brown stripe through it. Just a bit of difference there. I've got some turquoise cells with brown rings around them. The brown was the semi-transparent. And over here on the left, got the red cells with the white around it. The red was the semi-transparent. And the white's the opaque. And then we go up here. It's very sunset looking in that top left corner, isn't it? The turquoise and the orange. And those tropical flowers. Oh, look at those cells. Again, red cells, white rings. So pretty. So there you go. That's my challenge pool. Come around this way. Still pretty. Um... Oops, glare there. Yeah, as I said, I would have liked a little bit more brown to come through and a little bit more turquoise to come through instead of so much of the peachy colour, but hey, you get what you get. All you can do is learn from it and change your ratios and your colours and go again. So have a go. Join the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group on Facebook and uh, do these colours, pop them up, show me, I'd love to see them. And uh, we can chat there. Okay, thanks for watching. See you for the next one. Bye for now.